What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. For today's video we're going to do a quick test with the most powerful flashlight. This is a 32,000 lumen flashlight, right here. And it's a LED flashlight. What I want to see, can we start a fire just by using the world's most powerful LED flashlight? You know, LEDs don't heat up as much, but this is a very, very powerful flashlight. I'm wondering if it's possible to start a fire with it. Of course, we're going to do a quick unboxing. By the way, this flashlight cost on Amazon like $380. Give it or take it. Boom. Well, guys, first impressions. This flashlight is definitely exceeded your expectation by size because on the pictures definitely does not give a justice compared to when you get in it this feels like about five pounds easily maybe a little bit less but definitely a pretty hefty flashlight there's a holder for it you can stick it like that boom and close it and hang it on a belt over your shoulder whatever you like Definitely really nice. I like the holder for sure. By the way, do not want to forget to remove this plastic because if you're gonna turn off the flashlight, this thing will melt in into your glass. Wow, look at this LEDs. Pretty amazing. And right here is the charger. How do we charge it? Right here, open this up, plug it in, put it into the wall. And when you put it into the wall, Right here is a display, how charged is your flashlight. I'm pretty sure it's fully charged, I actually tried to charge it earlier before I was gonna make a video, just to make sure we have enough juice in this flashlight, because a lot of times you buy a flashlight, the battery is halfway charged or not charged at all. Yesterday I tried to charge it, it looked like it was fully charged. How do we turn it on? I have no idea. First thing you will want to do is unscrew it because you'll figure it out when you try to turn it on and off it's not working because you have to open this part and take off this plastic piece, boom. So I guess when you're shipping it you don't want it to turn on automatically by, by mistake. So I guess it's a safety feature which is really smart. So what we're going to do is Put it on highest and try to start the fire with this. Whoa, smokes instantly. There's no way. By the way, you do not want to look at the light. It's charring, but will it start the fire? It almost want to start the fire, but it's not. Ooh, look at that. I almost did, but it didn't start the fire just yet. But it melt hole to the newspaper super easily. You know what we should do? Is fold it many times. So that way there is layers. So there is something to catch on fire. So I think this will work a lot easier. Okay, the highest. Do not look at the light. If you're using this flashlight in real life, it will hurt your eyes. To the camera, it's not a big deal. It's like, yeah, wow, that was fast. And it's just a LED flashlight. Crazy, look at that. And we started a fire. Can you believe it? And if I touch this flashlight, it is warm, but it's not hot like the other flashlight was. That was amazing, that was so easy, that's insane, I can't believe how awesome that is. You probably do not want to touch this part when you run on a higher setting for too long, you're probably going to burn yourself. This is why there's like special heat resistant pieces out here. Also, I really like this flashlight a lot, because when you unscrew it, this whole thing is a battery and it says do not disassemble, it's a battery. 
that's it and what I will do for safety when I'm not using this flashlight because it's kind of dangerous if you leave it somewhere in the storage and this got pressed by mistake maybe it fall over or something obviously you can start a fire so I'll put this film back in and assemble it together so that way when I'm storing it and I'm not using it kids will not find it or something get fall over and push on this button who knows two times you see now it doesn't work so it's a good safety measure to take if you own one of these stone flashlights but that's incredible light up the newspaper so quickly let's see if we can light something else up just as easy as newspaper okay this time we're going to try out a bunch of dried grass let's see if this flashlight will start it My assumption this might be not dark enough. So maybe I'll try this again with dry leaves. I don't see much smoke coming out. Oh, there you go, there is some smoke. Even more smoke. Let's see if it slides up. Obviously, it's gonna take a little longer because it's not as thin as newspaper and it's not as dark It's definitely smokes a lot. Look at that. Oh, yeah I'm gonna turn it I'm gonna turn it off. Yeah, you see what I'm saying there is charring going on. Oh Yeah It's just not the best to start a fire with grass like that. Let me try something better. Okay, let's try to do this again, but with the leaves. Oh yeah, leaves are a lot darker, so they start smoking almost instantly. But again, they are not ideal to start a fire with. Because they just, for the most part, smoke don't burn as well but it might give us a really good ember all right i'm gonna turn off the flashlight and guess what we started the fire even with the leaves wow Crazy! Usually it's hard to start a fire with the leaves, but this flashlight did it. Okay, next test we're gonna do, can we cook an egg with the LED flashlight? Okay, just hold it over it like this. I know, it doesn't look like it's cooking. Maybe because it's just transparent, so it does not absorb light as good. Okay, I'm calling it quits. This flashlight will not do it. Let's try to do the same thing, but with this wicked laser flashlight, flash torch. I think this one will do it. I have never done that before, but let's see. Put it on higher settings. I can see it's smoking the egg actually. No way. Look at that, it's frying up the egg almost instantly. That's crazy. Look at that, that's definitely fried up egg right here. On the outside anyways probably will take a lot longer to fry up the whole egg well guys that's pretty much it I'll definitely put this flashlight to the test on my second channel at night just to see how bright it's going to be and we're probably going to compare it to flash torch wicked laser this is what I used to use and put to the test and it's very very powerful but this one is LED this one is a light bulb and this thing heats up super super hot there is even a caution because you might burn yourself this one doesn't even have a caution because it does heat up but not as much as this one so i'm really curious to see what it's going to look like at night time by the way a quick warning any powerful flashlight you do not want to look 
at the light straight forward with the naked eye it's just looking at the sun it's going to hurt your vision you know you don't want to look at the sun straight forward you know it's going to hurt same thing with the flashlight even the studio lights you do not want to stare at them because it's going to hurt your eyes you even might lose your vision temporarily that's a warning that you should know for sure most of you probably already know but for some of you who doesn't make sure you don't look at the lights but anyways let me know what do you think about this world most powerful led flashlight on the market this is amazing in my opinion i'm really glad i got this it is a little bit expensive 380 dollars but in my opinion so far it's really worth it beside a flashlight in a survival situation if you need to start a fire and warm yourself up you can do so with many many things not just with a newspaper with just dry leaves and you can find those pretty much anywhere unless you're in the desert but you i'm sure you can figure it out and find something dry and very easy to start a fire with well of course don't forget to thumbs up this video subscribe and i'll see you next time